Hey Scorpio, hope you guys are all really well. Welcome to your general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Scorpio. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you and another person. Second half of June for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Five of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is feeling maybe a little bit left out, um, maybe a little bit neglected. But then we have the Five of Wands in the challenge position. So I feel like, hmm. It almost feels like, you know, it's like somebody's feeling this way but not really doing much about it. Like, even though you, you or they might have the urge to like, you know, just kind of speak up about it and like maybe even argue about it or maybe feeling some frustration. Um, it, it, it's almost coming in as, as that, like pent up frustration, um, but not really, not really getting it out, not being able to express it. Um, let's see for your energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so lots of Pentacles. Like already, four out of the five cards are Pentacles. So some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign, or maybe you might have a lot of um, Earth in your charts. Or you're being called to ground yourself, or you are feeling um, like you are grounding yourself, possibly, maybe because of this, if this is you feeling neglected. Um, It does feel like, you know, this isn't really bad energy for you, okay? I, I feel like you're coming from a place of feeling like, you know, you want this commitment with this person. Or it even felt like there was commitment with this person. Or that, you know, um, it definitely had that, had or has that potential. It also feels like you're holding on to it, like, very, very tightly, almost like as if there's a bit of an insecurity of possibly losing it or like it's giving me this feeling like okay there is some kind of a commitment here or some kind of a connection or some kind of a possibility for long term right and then the four of pentacles it's like it's like holding on to it in a way where well, okay well what if i lose it so it almost feels like maybe you never you didn't really feel like you have that because if you really feel like you have it, then you don't really feel like you're going to lose it, right? So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like it's almost there but not. So I do see you moving more towards balancing that out. Balancing yourself out in terms of, you know, um, how you feel in terms of possibly losing this or that insecurity of losing this. Let's see for them. All right, the Ten of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Page of Wands. Hmm. So interesting that they have, they have Temperance, so I do feel like there's some kind of healing or some kind of balance that they too are trying to find within their own self. I feel like they're, they were actually possibly feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, with the potential of um, moving things to the next level or within the commitment part of it. Um, so I don't know if this is someone who just feels, who, who might have a little bit of a fear of commitment possibly, or if there was just something within this connection where they feel a little bit overwhelmed or, you know, like maybe it's too much of a responsibility or, or like it's just too much for them to handle possibly. I do see them though, again, like moving more towards finding some kind of balance or just being patient 
even with with this um, and I do see them moving more towards being open just being open to to the possibilities here let's see the potential outcome we have judgment okay nice so because I mean with the five of Pentacles yeah it does it's like someone's feeling a little bit neglected um, but with judgment being here I feel like things are kind of like coming together and possibly they're being um, like almost like starting again. So let's clarify. Let's see. I do feel like that five of pentacles um, is your energy by the looks of the rest of the cards here. So let's see. So for the five of pentacles and the five of wands, we have the ace of wands the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so... Yeah, it feels like everything was just like this potential. It felt like doors were opening up. Um, I don't know, again, for some of you, may, may be a third party, doesn't have to be. Um, that could also be an issue here. I'm not getting that very clearly, to be honest, so um, I don't get that that's going to be, you know, something like a major theme in this reading at all but for some of you it could be the case either way it's like yeah there was potential here there there really was and is potential here for this connection with this person um it does again it comes in as there being some kind of a clash in the way that the two of you view either the commitment or how you work together towards that, or like what role each of you has and what responsibility each person has. And I feel like that's why they're they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, so let's see, let's see the 10 of pentacles for you. The seven of swords and the two of cups. Yeah, so you're definitely wanting this this connection. You feel a lot of emotions. You feel a lot of love for this person. Um, but it's like there's a little part of you that feels like what I was saying before, that even though there's love here, and I feel like you actually feel this from the other person as well, but it's almost like it just keeps slipping away or like it just, you know, like what I was saying before, that it's like there but kind of out of reach, almost like, you know, like trying to reach a, a high shelf where like only your fingertips can touch the shelf so you can't really get what you want but it's like so close it's kind of like that um before we see the rest of your energy i actually want to see this ten of wands for the other person so ten of wands please all right and we have the eight of wands and the four of wands So it could be that this person is feeling like, you know, maybe things were moving really, really quickly or maybe something in terms of communication. Um, maybe there was communication um, in terms of, you know, something being more stable or and it doesn't have to be like literal. It could just be something that was implied. All right. And that 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 may have gotten them to feel a little bit overwhelmed or maybe, you know, just more communication than they can handle, for example, or that, you know, just more than that they, that they feel ready for. Hmm. I do see them wanting this though. They do want this. They do want, they do want this commitment with you. And I mean, the Four of Wands, it talks about even, you know, like a marriage celebration, right? Um, but it's also that for whatever reason, for each of them, it's going to be different. It felt slash feels a little overwhelming. Um, let's move on. Let's see that Four of Pentacles for your energy. Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so again, I feel like, you know, um, this is just something that you really, really want. And it's kind of like the more that you're just kind of 
touching it but not really having it because I feel like it just constantly feels like it's in that phase especially with the two aces here kind of like yeah you know that door is open the door is opening and then the page of pentacles here it's like yeah you know things are beginning to become more stable <clears throat> so and, and it's something that you really really want so it's like the more that your fingertips like touch that shelf it's like the more that you want that jar you know that you're trying to reach or whatever it is um you know within this connection or with this person and so it it, it almost feels like Part of your insecurity about this about losing this is because like you can't fully reach it so i feel like the message is that you know once you realize that you know it's going to calm you like that that's all it is right that that's actually making you want this more and so then there's more of an insecurity of either losing it or not being able to obtain it let's see the six of pentacles Ooh, the tower and the five of pentacles again yeah so it is you feeling neglected so this is what you're balancing out i feel like you know there can be times where you just um where you know you might just be kind of freaking out over it like what the hell is going on here or you know like this tower and it's just getting the better of you um you know feeling neglected when really you're not i mean maybe maybe you are i can't tell you that you're not <laughs> right i don't know your your everybody's specific situation um, but I don't feel like it is either for the reasons that you might think it is or something, you know, in your perspective of this, you know, might not be that, that accurate because, you know, it's stemming from this insecurity. So I feel like, you know, you're, you're balancing that out. The more that you realize that, okay, you know, the more I don't have this, the more that, you know, this person pulls away or, you know, whatever, like the more I want them. And that's why I then feel more insecure. So once you realize that, it's like, you're just going to, you know, chill. <laughs> it's like spirit is saying, you know, just, just chill, just chill. It's okay. This person does want this connection with you. They're just feeling a little overwhelmed. And that's usually what ends up happening. It's like the more that one person's energy is pushing towards the other person, the more that the other person feels overwhelmed. And so they like, you know, pull back, right? So then it, it turns into a vicious cycle. The more that they pull back, the more you want to push towards them. And even if you're not doing anything in the physical, I mean, this can work energetically. So it's like, once you realize that, you know, you will chill and, you know, just let things play out. Cause let's not forget, we do have that judgment card for the potential outcome here. Okay, so let's see temperance for their energy. The Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. There's something here that they're working on. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure if they're um, being transparent about that, but I feel like they're working on something and they are focused on, on this connection. You know, you are on their minds. They are thinking about you, right? Um, but it's like they're also trying to avoid, they're trying to avoid any conflict. They're trying to avoid um, possibly even pain. So some of them might even, you know, kind of have a fear of there being conflict if, if they're feeling overwhelmed. Um, and so I do see them just kind of being focused on something here that they're working on, possibly even within their own self. And because of that, it could be that they're being a little bit distant. Let's see the Page of Wands, because I do see them kind of coming back here, coming back into the picture, just becoming more open. Let's see, Page of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands showing up again. And the Queen of Pentacles. Which is interesting because you're you have like so much so many pentacles here. Um, I still see them feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but being able to find some kind of a relief, taking care of themselves, and because it, this could even be you know that 
it's not just you. It's not just feeling overwhelmed with the connection. I feel like there might be more that's going on here. Um, so it's like, you know, they're, they're becoming more open to, to being more stable with you or just to the fact that you having all these pentacles, right? It's like you're being represented by this queen of pentacles. Also, you being the one wanting, you know, more stability or more commitment. So it's like they're being more open to that, even though they're feeling, you know, they've been feeling this burden or, you know, this big sense of responsibility. They're like, you know, looking at it kind of like, okay, you know, maybe I can handle this responsibility. Maybe I can handle, you know, um, whatever, you know, um, I need to do in order, you know, for this to happen. Like just being open to it initially, being more open to it than before. So let's see judgment. But see, they're only coming into the space as you balance yourself out. As you are able to, you know, like really get a hold of that tower of, you know, any kind of like crisis that might, um, that you're being faced with because of this. So that's when they begin to open up. Okay, so for judgment, let's see. <laughs> judgment again, wow. Uh, the Four of Cups and the Star. Okay, so Aquarius also showing up here. <clears throat> yeah, so there's some big realization here. Um, a big, big realization, a big, big lesson. Probably for the both of you. But I feel like, you know, this is also about, um, you know, learning about what it really means to feel, you know, dissatisfied or to not getting exactly what it is that you want. So I feel like this kind of goes back to what I was saying about not being able to reach that that jar, for example, and um, and so then, you know, feeling that insecurity, like, oh my God, oh my God, if I can't get it, you know, what's going to happen? Um, so it's like really just being able to level yourself out in terms of of that, you know, being okay with some disappointment and with some things, you know, just not being exactly how you want them. And it, and then it's like, as soon as you're okay with that, bam, that's when you actually get the cookie jar. Um, Cause then we have the star, right? Um, a wish coming true, everything aligning, healing. So I do feel like there's a lesson um, for the other person as well. Like there's a major realization possibly of them, you know, and, their own unfulfillment, right? If they don't, like, what does it mean to not have this commitment and how does that feel like? And then, you know, moving towards that healing. So this is for the both of you, just in a different way. Wow, Scorpio, that was a very beautiful ending here. In an otherwise, you know, kind of, kind of tough um, energy. But it has its purpose and I feel like things are aligning. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Hmm, okay, so I feel like it does relate to everything that we were saying. I do feel like, you know, there's just, this is also a message of this person actually um, learning about commitment and also you in different ways. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.